the Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. Triumph State Bank is your local full-service bank ready to serve all your banking needs in four convenient locations. Visit us in Darfur, Butterfield, Trimont, or our newest location in Comfrey today. Hometown banking with your neighbors and friends, Triumph State Bank. I'm joined right now by Mountain Lake senior Margo Stace, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Margo. Thanks. Let's go back to Friday's game against Red Rock Central and... Uh, you know, going into that game, um, you know, the first time around, you guys uh, did a pretty nice job defensively keeping the ball out of the lane. Um, you know, with their with their big girl, uh, you know, is really a difference maker for them. How were you able to to keep the ball from getting inside to her on Friday night? So our goal was just to kind of keep her out of the paint, just keep pushing her out uh, offensively. Brooke and I would just rotate. If she was guarding one of us, we would just keep her out, whoever was defending her. Just keep moving the ball, because Brooke is pretty versatile, and she can work on the paint and on the perimeter. And so having the big girl getting her out of there was just one of our goals. Offensively, um, you guys got off to a, a lead at halftime, but uh, second half, I imagine a lot of it was defense turning into offense. Um, tell me about the the uh, you know the second half on on Friday night, and you know were you guys able to put a little bit of pressure on them uh, and and get some easy scoring opportunities? Yeah, well, some of those girls like from our rock were in foul trouble, and so we kind of took advantage of it, and so they kind of got out of, the, out of their game, losing some girls, and so we just kept pushing the ball inside and until. Some girls fouled out and got to the free throw line. When you first started out, you were really primarily a per, a perimeter player, and now your game has gotten to the point where you're versatile enough that you're able to to go both outside and inside. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the the process of developing both sides of your game. Well, <laughs> it's kind of fun being able to be inside and on the perimeter, having the skills of being able to shoot and being physical inside and enjoyable. Just working on post is a main focus for Brooke and I. We just beat up on each other in practice, but then other parts of practice, I'm on the perimeter, so I just get both sides of it. You're able to create some uh, some matchup problems for your opponents uh, with your skill set. Um, what what do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy banging around inside a little <laughs> bit, or or would you rather take someone off the dribble? I like banging people up inside a little bit. Usually, I have a smaller girl on me because they think I'm gonna be on the perimeter. But just going inside, it just creates creates a disadvantage for them. And so I just beat up on whoever's guarding down there. Mm -hmm. um, this year, you've got you guys have a a change in your coaching staff. Uh, you know your your. B squad coach, Coach Jans from last year, uh, moves up to be the head coach. Coach Clausen takes over the B squad. Um, I imagine that you know having a little bit of continuity in the coaching staff, uh, you know, really helped you get has helped you guys this year. But um, how how is Coach Jans? How is his style a little bit different from Coach Clausen? Coach Jans, he's awesome. He really likes to push the ball and so just pushing the ball and he gets really honest on the little things and we've had a lot different offense and we work really well with Brooke and I in the middle but then we also like have our offense incorporated with the perimeter and so it just matches up together well. Mm -hmm. Everything is really a lot different this yeah. year for you guys. Um, how, how has that adjustment been in practice? Um, it's a lot different. It's weird having, it was weird at first having uh, a completely different group basically. A lot, we had a lot of uh, experience from B squad and coming up to varsity. And so just like, like have, teaching them and having them have that pressure on them because it's such a different environment. And they had to learn to be a lot more physical. Uh, they had to just 
a lot of like content, I would say, mm -hmm. to just awesome fixtures like that. And the, the goal from last year, just expanding on to this year, is just, it can be difficult for them, but they've, they've, they've gotten adapted well. They've adapted to the varsity very well, and I'm proud of them for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, defensively, that's really been kind of you guys' a staple. Uh, you know, you've got such quickness um, between Tiny and Sophie and, and Kirsten, and even you and Brooke, uh, a lot of speed in the post, and, and that can create problems for opposing offenses. That's mm -hmm. got to be a lot of fun knowing yeah. that uh, that you guys are able to frustrate other teams' offenses that much. Yeah, it is kind of fun. <laughs> um, looking ahead, um, a real busy end of the week this week with uh, games on three straight nights. You guys go to Edgerton for a girl boy doubleheader. Uh, you you've got MCC, and then you've got a Wyndham team coming in here on Saturday that uh, has pr been pretty hot most of the season. Um, tell me about the challenge going into this week because you've got four games in five days, um, especially at the end of the week, trying to keep everybody fresh. Uh, Thursdays, Edgerton, and they really young. They yeah, they are a really young team. Uh, then Fridays, MCC, and we beat them last time in a buzzer beater, but we also didn't have a very good game, so I think it'd be a lot different this time around. And then Saturday, yeah, Wyndham. I mean, we had our best game against them last year, and we we just need to take care of them in the post and just play solid defense against them. In eighth grade, I played at varsity with my all, all my sisters, and it was the first playoff game, and I hit a buzzer beater to send my sister into another senior game, and that just happened to be her last game, but it was the best moment for me. I need Dan and Shay song. By Silas Christian, at Silas Christian, they have a really good environment, and they're just a solid program. Crazy, physical, <laughs> I can get that loud, but we get along. <laughs> Watching other sports, <laughs> uh, shopping, sleeping, just being my family. And of course you're a senior this year and uh, I know that you've signed to play with uh, Northwestern. Are you going to play volleyball or basketball down there? I'm going to play basketball down there. And uh, I imagine that uh, that it's got to be pretty exciting to, to prepare to play college ball and, and see what you can do at the next level. Yeah, I'm excited for college. I think basketball and college is a whole other level, and I'm ready to take on that challenge. Well, that should be all we need. Uh, congratulations on a big win Friday night. Best of luck the rest of the way, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Triumph State Bank is your local full-service bank ready to serve all your banking needs in four convenient locations. Visit us in Darfur, Butterfield, Trimont, or our newest location in Comfrey today. Hometown banking with your neighbors and friends, Triumph State Bank.